The Vikings had a furious comeback against the Panthers, scoring 18 points in the fourth quarter. And it started right here on this field goal attempt by Carolina, trying to go up 24 to 10 when DJ Wanham splits between the left tackle and left tight end right here. And the rookie gets his big hand up and blocks it. Takes three points off the Carolina Panthers scoreboard right there. And the Vikings would use that as a spark to go down the field. And it would start with a couple of big throws. Like this one to Chad Beebe up at the top. This throw by Kirk Cousins, he made a ton of great throws in this game. This is one of them. He's going to get hammered by Derrick Brown. But the comeback to Chad Beebe for 16 yards picks up the first down. No Adam Thielen in the game. But Chad Beebe. BZ Johnson, Justin Jefferson, they all picked up the slot. Here's the throw. Now watch Derrick Brown, number 95. There's a breakdown here in the Viking protection, and he's going to come clean right at Kirk Cousins. He's got a choice here. Bail, duck, get the heck out of the way, but he stays in there and makes a big-time throw. And BB does a good job of coming back to the football. It's third and 13 now. Third and 13. Now watch, Justin Jefferson is going to come in motion to a bunch formation. The Panthers are in man coverage. They're going to kick it over. And he's going to beat Cornelder, number 29, on this sail route right here. I mean, it was just one big time route and throw after another. Late in the third quarter right there, that would set up a field goal, cutting that Carolina Panther lead a little bit. But then, down 24-13, faced with third and 10 here in the fourth quarter. Watch 29. That's Cornelder. He's going to come on this delayed blitz right here. Here he comes. He's coming right at Kirk Cousins. Now up at the top, he's trying to get the ball to BZ Johnson, who's running this comeback here. And Kirk Cousins got to do everything he can to get as much mustard on it as he can to get the ball to BZ Johnson on third and 10. He picks up 17 yards. Huge play. Keeps the drive alive. And they shut, did a good job of shutting down Dalvin Cook. But this was his longest run of the day. 14 yards. Watch C.J. Ham. Great job blocking up there on Shaq Thompson. And then the double team between Dozier and Bradbury. And the other linebacker, that's Dalvin Cook's man. He blazes right by and picks up 14 yards. And then just a little bit later on fourth and one, the Vikings had no choice but to go for it. He runs right behind his fullback who picks up the safety blitz. Burris right there. And then they get great push in the middle. Bradbury and Dozier. All right, excellent job pushing. Contact battle won by Dalvin Cook. They get three yards and a first down. They keep the drive alive. A lot of those. And those runs by Dalvin Cook, it sets up this play action right here. They're going to use it to get this play action pass to BZ Johnson up at the top. Play action. Now, here he comes on this little dig route right in front of the safety. And right there, Kirk Cousins put it right on. Another 17-yard gain. Johnson was targeted seven times, caught all seven balls. They really stepped up in the absence of Adam Thielen. And then Justin Jefferson runs this Colorado route, a whip route, whatever you want to call it up at the top. Stabs it, puts his foot in the ground and comes back out. Beat Shaq Thompson to the end zone. And for the second time on the afternoon, Justin Jefferson found the end zone. Is there a better rookie wide receiver in football? Six touchdown catches? Go Tigers. Great day. Now, they need the two-point conversion here to try to cut this lead to 24-21. to 21. Great play. Here it is. Man coverage. Here comes Kyle Rudolph. He's going to come in short motion towards the center right here. And then 81 is BZ Johnson. He's going to come right off him right here. Man coverage. Sell it. And then come off him on a double screen. Like Steph Curry coming off a double screen. And Kirk Cousins finds him and give him a yep. Here we go. Down a field goal now. Down a field goal here with the two-point conversion. Now, Panthers will go down to score. So here they go. The Vikings, down 27-21, would go 75 yards in seven plays. This throw right here, look at the route by Justin Jefferson. Coming back to the ball, picks up 15 yards and gets out of bounds. The Vikings had no timeout. First down by Jefferson. A little bit later in the drive. Okay, a couple of completions. Now, where's Kyle Rudolph? He had a big day, too. Here he is at the tight end. They're going to find just a void in his zone. Three-man rush. That means Kirk Cousins can stay right there on the spot, doesn't move, and finds Kyle Rudolph in the void.
for 25 big yards, gets down to the 10 yard line. And then on second and 10 at the 10, Chad Beebe, next to BZ Johnson at the bottom. Twins to the left right here, two receivers. Beebe's gonna run this slant right in the middle right here. Kirk Cousins, just waiting on him, excellent protection. He finds him for the game winner. Chad Beebe's first touchdown catch of the season. None of it could have been any bigger than the game winner. And here's the throw by Kirk Cousins. Look at 31. He's the, the robber safety right here. Rudolph with the cup with, with the cross route kind of takes his eyes off the ball. Cousins throws it right over the top of him. They beat Corn Elder for the game winner. The Vikings get their fifth win of the season in dramatic fashion. Cousins was awesome. No turnovers. And a couple of young guys, BB and BZ Johnson, stepped up big for the Vikings offense.